Hello, welcome, 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 gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara from the Gaia One Temple. One Earth, one people, one love. Let's start by just calling in some amazing beings to assist us today. So take a big breath into your belly. <sighs> Let it out. Through the mouth, letting go of everything outside this moment bringing you right inside yourself into this present moment, breathing in and breathing out. And one more time, big breath, big belly breath, in through the nose, hold it for as long as it's comfortable, out through the mouth, letting go of everything that's outside this moment. Another big breath in, this time we're going to breathe out through our feet, Imagining roots growing, spreading out like a tree all the way deep, deep down into the center of Mother Earth and tie those roots around the core of Mother Earth. And then you can just do that again. Breathe in, breathe out, really establish that root. Some people like to do it from their tailbone. You can do it from your feet or your tailbone. It doesn't matter, just so long as you're grounded. Then breathe in and bring all that gorgeous energy from Earth back up. Let it breathe out and let it fill every cell, every atom, every molecule of your being, letting go again of anything that's outside of this moment. And I want you to continue that while I call forth pure God source, the seraphim and cherubim angels, Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, the Arcturians, the Syrians and the Lyrans. I'd like to call forth Quan Yin, Isis, Uruk, Linda, Chief Tom White Bear, Chief Tom White Cloud, Chief Black Bear, and my beautiful, beautiful Master Jack and the Galactic Diamond Federation. We welcome you all here today. We wish to remind you that you need to be over 18 years of age and you must have read and agreed with and fully understood the terms of service, the terms and conditions, and the disclaimer on our website, www.elmaraseraphin.com. And if you don't agree, then stop listening now. Otherwise, all you other gorgeous beings are in for an awesome, awesome little session today. So just keep breathing. I'm really, really excited to announce that if you live anywhere on the south coast, around Maruya, Batemans Bay, Aladala, Milton, any of those areas, I'm going to start a spiritual development circle, spiritual healing and development circle. It will be cheap as chips, so any of you can join us if you wish to. Um, if there's some people that are not around that area and you would be interested in receiving, say, the MP3s from that, if you live overseas or somewhere else in Australia, please let me know. And if it's viable, we'll record the sessions and do it that way as well. But just to begin with, there's going to be a physical one-on-one -on -one session. I'm only in this area for a short time, so I thought I might share some of my knowledge while I'm here, and I'm really excited to be doing that. We're also going to do a... Uh, um, uh, what I call a short workshop, a short play shop, and one of them will be connecting to your higher self because that's the most important thing any of you can do. And the other one will be um, connecting to your star seed planet. Um, so it'll be a star seed activation. And um, they'll probably run for about four or five hours and we'll run them probably on a weekend as well. So that's my exciting news. The other exciting news is that the see even though it's a dull old day today although you can't really tell that because of more the way the camera landed is just on all those gorgeous crystals and but um, the sea is roaring in again which is just fabulous so because I'm a Syrian and because the whales are going by as well at the moment and the whales are the the gatekeepers or the story keeper or the secret keepers of all the secrets of Sirius when Sirius came down to earth millions of years ago so I always get excited when I'm near the sea and now I know why. <laughs> when I was younger in my 20s I used to go and float. I would swim out past the breakers and just float, close my eyes and float and float for hours and people used to say to me aren't you scared you'll get eaten by a shark and I said, used to say to them I'd rather float and get eaten by a shark 
then never float again in the rest of my life. So that's, I had such an affinity with the ocean all of my life. So love, love, love the ocean. Now I know why. Alrighty. So let's just do a connection to our higher self. And um, I just want to also add here, okay, so the reason I started doing these is because it, it is so important if people begin to connect to their higher realms, to your higher self, to the fifth dimension, to your star seed planet. And if you've got poop going on in your life and nothing you were doing in the 3D world is working, so if you've done... So you're trying to get a job and you can't get that job and you've you've applied for, you know, 50 jobs and you can't get one, it's time to move up to the higher levels because that's what's happening. The 3D stuff is falling apart and it's not working. And while it looks like in our world our whole world is going to, to the grappers, that's not what's happening either. What's happening is all of that stuff has always existed. It's just that there's so much light pouring in that it's pushing it to the surface and we can see it now. And that's because it's coming to the surface to be healed. And it'll be exactly the same thing happening in your life. So I remember when I was in my 20s, um, I lived in Perth. I'm from Western Australia originally. And I applied for 128 jobs that took me 120 and didn't get one of them after having had corporate jobs and been offered corporate jobs. Um, Bond had just gone broke and Alistair Norwood was going broke. All the millionaires in Perth were going broke and I suppose that was a sign. But anyway, eventually somebody said to me, I don't think you're meant to live here anymore. I think you meant to be on the other side of Australia, and that's how I ended up on the east coast of Australia. Um, and we, myself and my best friend, moved to Brisbane to live. So, And I got the first job I applied for. Well, I think it was the first job I applied for when I got there. So when things aren't working, it's because they're out of sync or they're out of vibration. But at the moment, you know, they're out of sync because the third-dimensional structures are falling down. And it's just a really good sign that you are an advanced being and your soul is, causing, is calling you to go higher. So if you have no money coming in, if you haven't got clients happening, if you've got property that won't sell, if you can't get a job, if you've got really crappy relationships around you, these are all signs that your higher self is calling you to go higher, to go deeper into your own magnificence and, and, and lead yourself into the highest dimensions that are available and then everything will begin to flow again. And I just know that that's true. Um, and even though I work in the pretty high realms most of the time, just recently I connected with Sirius. Um, you know, I mean, I've always known I was a Syrian, but I didn't really work specifically with Sirius energy. But as soon as I did, everything changed. So, and it's really interesting that as soon as I did that, all of my friends and old students that I've known for 10 years that have all got blue, bright, bright blue eyes, which is a sign usually you're staring. And yes, you can have other coloured eyes, especially if you were like a Lyran. When Lyra exploded, they came across the Syrian. So you don't just have to have blue eyes to be Syrian. But most um, Syrians through and through have exquisite blue eyes and I'm no different. And when I work, when I'm spiritually working, my eyes go even bluer and it shocks the hell out of people. So I go, what happened to your eyes? And it's really just the, the soul light coming through. And so that's why I really want to do a star seed activation workshop or play shop for people who are interested in um, connecting to their star seed because it's such an important thing that's happening here on Earth. So, alrighty. So let's do a transmission of some kind. I don't know what I, I – maybe I'll just connect to – I'll connect you to your higher self, first of all, so you can bring be, begin bringing that light down into your being. And because the key is that anyone can tell you what your gifts, talents, and abilities are, but what's happening is that it's for you to connect to your higher self and find or, and your star city planet or whatever and find out what those gifts are and if your life's not working and has not been working for a while then I can guarantee you it's because you need to on a daily and eventually a minute to minute hour to hour basis day to day basis be fully connected to your I am presence because things are changing and um, I told um, like um, I think it was around April, maybe just before April, I, I did a miracles video 
um, tell explaining how these things had happened where I just asked uh, and my car which hadn't locked for ages locked again so you can go back and listen to that miracles very video I'm not going to tell you again but that's what's actually happening so stuff that doesn't work here in this level they're happening on that other level and there's people that are saying you know that they know that they were wearing a blue shirt in a photo but when they feel the timeline shift they can go back and they're in a in 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 a different completely different colored shirt in the photo and that's what's happening these the timelines are shifting and that's why it looks like everything's turning to poop <clears throat> but it's really that the old things aren't working and whenever anything isn't working um and so and a really good example another really good example of that is um um, the remote control here for the TV doesn't work. And, and it's not the battery. Everybody goes, ah, it's the batteries. But I went and got new batteries and it didn't make any difference. And, um, but the other day it just came to me when I was sitting there um, and I just went, activate the Syrian advanced technologies now. And I just clicked the remote and it worked. And so I can, and because and what I'd noticed was, when I had done my hour or two of meditation with Sirius, the damn thing worked. And when I hadn't, it didn't. And so the other day I, I hadn't done my meditation, the remote didn't work. And so I just went, okay, activate the Sirius highest technologies and make this damn thing work now. Click and the thing worked for the rest of the evening. So um, things are changing. And and the big thing about moving up into the higher um, vibrations is that what you think you create instantly so it's really really important if you're going to start doing this that you be super mindful of what you're thinking and if you hear your ego trying to do a number on you just tell it to bugger off just go no that's not true I'm an infinitely powerful being of the light or of God's source or of the entire universe whatever you want to say I'm a sovereign being of the entire universe and I live in an abundant, rich, beautiful, loving world. And I have loving friends and loving relationships. Or whatever it is you want to say, but just delete your, your negative thoughts. Because the old ego 3D stuff is still trying to. But I can assure you that if you connect into your higher self and your star seed planet at the start of your day, then those, those negative things don't happen. You just seem to go from bliss to bliss, bliss and more bliss. So, alrighty. Take a big breath in for me. Go back down into the centre of Mother Earth. Breathe up. And just imagine that you're going up, breathing completely up through your crown. And there is a beautiful, beautiful stream of golden, silver, crystalline light, a pillar of light that's streaming up from your crown. And it's going up, up, and just ask to be taken up to your higher self. And then connect that pillar of light into your higher self above you. Breathe in. Draw that beautiful higher frequency love and light from your higher self down. Let it flood every cell, every atom, every molecule of your being. If you're aware like I am, you can just feel that flooding in it. It's just so freaking gorgeous. And breathe out the last 2% down into the centre of Mother Earth and just tie that energy around the centre of Mother Earth. And again, breathe up. And you can ask anything that's out of alignment with my higher self. Breathe out and surrender that to your higher self for transmutation into its highest loving form. Breathe out into your higher self. Breathe in. Bring that unconditional love, light, peace, joy, abundance, prosperity, health, strength, power back down into your body. Let it fill every one of your hundred trillion cells and your hundred trillion telomeres and the last two percent goes down into the center of Mother Earth. Breathe up again. Again, breathe out anything that's out of alignment with the earth and your beautiful higher self above you. Ask your higher self to transmute it back to pure unconditional love and light and abundance and breathe that back down. Through your crown. Feeling every one of your organs, all of your systems, cardiovascular system, muscular system, skeletal system, endocrine system, integumentary system. Um, there's lots more. There's 12 of them. I haven't listed all of them. 
And then just breathe out the last 1% into the center of Mother Earth. And I want you to keep that breath up now. As I call upon all of my higher spiritual healing teachers, guides and angels, and all of my beautiful, beautiful new friends from Sirius. And we're just going to send you a healing transmission that you can breathe into any area of your life. My recommendation is to breathe it into the areas that are blocking you from being connected to your higher self and your highest knowledge and um, so that you can get your own wisdom so that you don't have to listen to me rabbiting on here once a week or whatever on the 1st, 8th, 15th and 22nd. So you are infinitely powerful, gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy, radiant, powerful beyond measure, beautiful, eternal being of light. And you just got to remember that about yourself. You, you know, it's not that you're not that, it's just that you've not remembered that. Alrighty, let's start this transmission before I run out of time again, so. Focus on your breath going in through your nose. And out through your nose. And if you're releasing, release out through your mouth. And so we'd also just like to add that this transmission is for anyone who's listening right now and anyone who will listen at any time in the future. Such gorgeous love. <laughs> Breathe this gorgeous energy into every one of your 100 trillion cells and your 100 trillion telomeres.
And you may feel some tingling and warmth throughout your being. And you may feel nothing at all, but that does not mean that something truly powerful isn't happening for you. Just keep breathing in this energy. Keep opening up to your higher self. And listen to this daily for at least 28 days and then see what shows up in your life. Sometimes it's just because you have too much density in your aura to be able to feel anything. Just keep breathing, keep connecting, and eventually you'll begin to feel your heart pop open and your whole being will flood with this gorgeous, unconditional love that you've never known before. Namaste, Espavo. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we're just going to place you all in a pyramid of gold and crystalline light that is so thick, so strong, no negative energies, no lost souls, no illnesses can enter. Only those beings directly related to your higher self, God, love and light, can pass through this wall of protection. We also ask that anyone outside this wall of gold and crystalline light can feel your love and light, but any negative energies directed at you are simply dissolved by this wall of gold and crystalline light. And lastly, we ask if anyone steps through this pyramid of gold and crystalline light that um, they leave their negative energies outside the wall if they wish they can pick it up when they leave. Otherwise, it is simply dissolved by this powerful wall of gold and crystalline light. In the name of God, we ask these things and thank you. Amen. All right, gorgeous beings, we're done. Wasn't that delicious? Um, I just want to remind you all that all donations are gratefully received. You can donate by just using my email address, elmara, E-L-M-A-R-A, at live, L-I-V-E, dot com, dot A-U. Um, and if you don't have a PayPal account, you can just use the donate button on the blog page. You can use the card with the donate button on the blog page. I'll put the details down below. I also, um, you're welcome to share this video with your friends. And please, if you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button and the bell button next to it, and they'll let you know when we are next doing a video. So the next one that's officially planned is for the 15th day of the month. But of course, this is the 15th day of the month in Australian time. And of course, you are more than welcome to... Um, We may put some up in the meantime and you're welcome to share this with your friends if you choose to. Alrighty, gorgeous beings of light. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this gorgeous journey to help awaken the world with me. And I really look forward to talking with you all again soon. Lots of love and bye for now.